What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be creating a high converting Shopify store, step-by-step -step using the theme, the Beautify, which is one of my favorite, and I'm gonna tell you why in a bit. So why should you choose the Beautify? Simply because it's an all-in-one solution for e-commerce, for any kind of e-commerce business, it will work really well. The reason being, it has all the features customizable as much as you want. And with the all built-in add-ons, you don't actually need any additional apps. That's the reason I always stick to the Beautify whenever I'm building any Shopify store. Let's get into this video. I'm gonna show you exactly how to structure your website, how to build a high converting product page, and so on and so forth. So keep watching. You're gonna get a lot of value in this. All right, for step number one, you wanna have a Shopify store to begin with. And right now, there is an amazing offer by Shopify. For just $1, you can get three months of Shopify. Or actually, you pay $1 every month for three months. So that's almost free. And if you wanna make use of this current offer, I have a link down in the description. Go make use of it until it is valid. So now that we have our Shopify store ready, it's time to install the Beautify theme on our Shopify store. And right now we have an exclusive offer from Beautify for my audience. It's 20% off for the three months if you, if you decided to go with the paid version. However, you can try it for free for 14 days and you can still keep the theme and use it for free. So let's get started. You're just going to click here and fill in your information, your email address, your password for the Beautify. This is only for the Beautify app. And then you're going to copy your Shopify link right there without the HTTP, just the domain.myshopify.com. And then create an account. So you're going to get a link in your, in your email address to confirm your account. And then you can start installing the theme on your store. So once you confirm the email that he had sent you, you are going to land on a website that looks like this. So you want to press get theme, get the theme. There will be like a step-by-step -step guide here, but you can go and download the theme directly. The latest version right now is 4.10.2. As of the moment, I'm recording this video. So click download. Make sure it's the latest version. So now we have the theme. We want to go back to our Shopify store and upload it. Go to online store, click on themes. And then I'm going to add a theme and then click upload zip file. And you just simply drag the same file that you downloaded, upload it in here. So once we install the theme on Shopify, we just have to publish it. So we go over here and click publish. And now that's the main theme in your store. Go ahead and click customize. All right, so the first thing I would do here to go to the header section, upload your logo. Make sure that the logo is cropped exactly around the logo itself, the design, and it is transparent so that it fits perfectly on your Shopify store. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to upload the inverted version as well. And the mobile version will remain the same. Right? So as you can see, it, it fits perfectly. Looks nice on the store, even when you're scrolling. And now we're, we're going to start to add sections to our store. So the first section I would add would be a hero or a banner or they call it here a slideshow. So we're going to click a slideshow. And then you're going to add a slide. You can choose to show an overlay or not. So for the background image, you want to choose something that is related to your niche or your product. Or if you just want a nice uh, free stock images that we can use, we can just use the one built in Shopify itself in the free image library. Now we can search something related to our niche. So we're doing fitness right now. So let's look up some fitness photos. So this makes sense for the product that I'm, I'm building right now. 
So I would do that and I'll select it. So in this case, for example, you want to show the text to be more visible on the slideshow. I would select show overlay and I'm going to show you how to change all the colors and make it uh, customize according to your needs. So we're going to choose the same uh, background for mobile. Now, by default, you have two buttons. You can change that and you can make use of one button or two, depending on your needs again. So uh, for me, I like to go with just one button. And it will say shop now. So that will be the only button here. I'm going to save that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and customize our colors. We're going to go to theme settings, go to colors. With this brand, I want to make it as simple as possible. I'm going to go for black and white only. It makes it look um, aesthetic and eye pleasing. My advice is always to keep your color simple, stick to one to two, three colors at max. So don't do more than that. So I'm going to choose the buttons as black as well. Links, you can keep it blue color, errors, same. Green, for the sale price, we can go for green or the same brand color. So I'm just going to keep it as black as well. Drawers, so for this, I would recommend that you actually open the cart and then keep that open. And while you're doing this, you're changing the colors here. So the background, I would go for white. Accent background is black. Or actually, let's go for the light gray. And border is black. Borders will go for black. Text will be black since my background is white. Buttons will be black. Button label will be white, of course, because I have because I have a um, black button. So links again will be blue. Form elements, light gray. Errors, you can keep it red. And for the sale price, you can go for either green or the same as the brand color. So very simple. Now in the footer, so we're done with the drawers. I'll save, make sure to keep saving your edits so that you don't lose it if ever something happens. Now for the footer, let's do the same thing. Always keep the section that you are editing in front of your eyes so you know exactly what's happening. So for the background, I would go for black, for example. And then accent background, I would do gray. Borders, I can do white. Buttons, since my background is here is black, so I'll go with the opposite color, white. And there it is. Form elements, always go for the light gray. Or you can actually make it a little bit darker. So that it's visible, right? Links and accent are always blue. Errors are red. Sale price, again, same thing. Overlay, this is where uh, your hero shows. So you want to make it according to the text that you are going to type. So I go for black and keep the text white. Okay, looks good. And then I'm going to save this. Now for this section, this is by default installed. This is an add-on to have your Instagram feed in here. In case you want to disable it, all you have to do is go to theme settings and then go to the add-ons and then scroll until you see Instagram feed, and you can disable it. If you save it, and it will reload, and then this section should be gone. There you go. So this section is called the guarantees. So yeah, this icons are customizable, and we can change it according to our needs. And actually, let's go ahead and change the color, because this is related to the links color. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the colors and change the links to black to keep everything consistent, even with my logos here for the trust batches. In case you want to remove this, you can easily do that. 
by doing, going here and unselecting the show section. Right. So now we have our slideshow. You can add some some text in here related to your product or brand, your slogan, anything that really comes to your mind and that you want to showcase. So I'm going to type in work out anywhere. Or let's actually do it the opposite. So I'm going to put this in the text anywhere. Anytime. And then I'm going to put the brand name here. So firstly, right? It's good and conveys the message that I want to convey. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the other sections. This is in case you want to add another slide, like another image. You can do that here, or you can choose to keep it only one image. So I'm going to go ahead and add the section. I would go advise to showcase your products right away. For this example, we have only one product. So I'm just going to display it here as the featured product. So you got it here. And then you can click on the product here and then select it. There you go, fits perfect. Now there's a lot of stuff that comes into the theme because of the add-ons. So if you, in case you want to keep it, you can keep it or you want to hide it, you can easily do that. You can hide it by unselecting these buttons. I would advise to keep this because if they want to read more about the product, they can click it and see that. Right. I'm going to save this. And then you might want to add, if in case you have multiple products, you want to add a featured collection. And in this case, we only have one product, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of the example. And then you can display other uh, related products, for example, or your best sellers. And then we can start adding some image with text about the product that you, we want to highlight. For example, this is the product that I'm working with. And then let's give it a headline or uh, any sign, any, right? You can add more text in here, or you can keep it as the headline only. And you can add also a button that directs them to the product that you're selling. You can select the link here to the product directly. That's good. Now, of course, you can still add more sections. Like, for example, you want to add a gallery of images and display some other images that showcase your products. Or you can just keep it simple. The simpler, the better, to be honest. That's what I found out throughout those years building stores. As Keep it as much as simple as possible, as much as you can, and it will convert best. Right. So this is for the theme customization in, in terms of the home page. Now we have a lot of add-ons that we can use with this theme, the Beautify. So let me show you what we can do in the product page. So first of all, you have the wish list. Compare, quick compare is we have similar products. You can showcase them in this way. Now, in, in case you want to choose which add-ons you want to activate, all you have to do is go to theme settings and then under the Beautify add-ons. Now you can see all the add-ons that you can activate. You can have a minimum order, quantity breaks, so many cool features that help you increase your average order value, uh, boost the trust of your store, add uh, things that make your product page very easy to read, like the bullet points. I'm gonna show you this one right, right now. So let's add a bullet point. So the things that you can use in the product page will be here. So this is the first one, bullet points. I'm going to add some bullet points. For this, I like to say something like 
my best offer basically if it's free sh shipping that i want to showcase here i will do that or i can show like the main benefits of the product right away when the people click from the ad and go directly to the product page so i can do this here this is the main benefit of my product work out anytime anywhere right and then you can add and you can add even another one let's say um grow a strong arm forearm add the comfort of your home right you can see where i'm going here you can list the main benefits of your product so at a glance your customer will see exactly what this product is about and what is it what is in it for them right and then we can easily take the decision where, whether they want to, to make the purchase right away or not right so that's the main purpose of using these features now by, by default your description will be down in a different section and it will be centralized so if you want to edit this all you have to do is just go to product pages and then on the right side you can disable or enable any feature that you want here like the sharing icons the product collections I, I like to remove any distraction from my product page just keep it the main benefits the app to cart is very visible you can easily find it and then some offer now this is the description that i was talking about it's in a separate section right now so i can keep it under the app to cart and in the text alignment i, I would go for the left and even for mobile so it looks more uh, neat and easier to read so people can easily scan it and your main point should be always in bold or heading as a heading format heading three or heading four is is good make sure to have all the information that your buyer needs and in case you you know that your product will have a lot of questions you can go to the faq section which is another cool feature of the beautify already built in can just add in the questions that you want to answer for your buyers to go over it and make their buying decision right away on the same page without having to go anywhere else to look for the information right so there's other cool features that we can do like quantity breaks let's do that like offer multiple products at a discounted price so we go here on the left section quantity breaks i'm going to add a block product break right whenever you, you're doing any of these add-ons make sure to select the the, the collection or the products that you want to activate this to because you can have different templates for each product right all right so i'm going to select the product and then let's do the, our quantity breaks so we can do a minimum of two so let's say buy two save 10 percent off 10 percent right so it's going to display in a really nice way buy one buy two and again i can add more of that let's say i want to sell a bundle three of them buy three save 15 percent off right and i can do this this really helps in boosting up your uh, volume as a as a average order value. Especially if you are doing a one product store, then you will need something like this to increase your average order value, because that's the only way you're gonna do it. Otherwise, you have no other upsell. And in case you have other upsells, you can have the upsell pop up, a special offer. Add this add add this product to the cart and get twenty percent off. Very easy to activate. All you have to do is just select the product and put in the discount code that they, they will get uh, when they add this product. And then we save this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video. Make sure to try out the Beautify. The link will be in the description. And comment down below any questions you have about the theme, about Shopify in general. Happy to help you and I'll see you in the next one.